you with a new vlog. Ha! Yeah. Do 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 Uzi's all, I have the high grounds, Doc Amanda. First time I've taken a walk at my place here in Hayward, I'm actually going to a movie theater, which is less than a mile from my house. And uh, yeah, here we go. Hello, it's evening. Why did I go for that walk? Well, I wanted to go to the movie theater to see uh, a Miyazaki film in the theater, which I've done before, but this one was more exciting to me than the others because it was Lupin the Third, Castle Cagliostro. Uh, it was actually his first movie that he directed and he co-wrote it, but it's a property he did not create. Lupin is based on a manga and there was, I, I believe there was a TV show before the movie, but there was definitely the manga before the movie, uh, made by Monkey Punch. Uh, and I didn't realize how old it was, but it's 50 years old this year. And I saw it years ago, and it's kind of what got me back into anime a little bit. I mean, not that I've ever gotten huge in anime, but um, in high school, I got into Akira and a few others, uh, Wind Ninja Chronicles, also known as Ninja Scroll, uh, Fist of the North Star, things like that. Mostly movies, not shows. And I kind of lost interest at some point because I wasn't finding enough I liked or whatever. And then a buddy of mine... Uh, when I was going to Joe Kubert's, like, hey, did you ever see uh, Lupin the Third? I'm like, well, I don't even know what that is. And basically, it's a, a thief with a heart of gold, and it's action, adventure, and comedy. And this was the first one I ever saw, and it was directed by Miyazaki. So uh, I've seen it a couple times, but um, never on the big screen and never in Japanese. And that's what it was. And in the beginning, they had a thing of, with John Lasseter from Pixar talking about how it's one of his favorite movies, and it helped inspire the idea at Pixar to make movies that are for adults, not just for kids. And then afterwards, there was a thing with Monkey Punch, and uh, one of the animators in the movie talking about it and stuff. So it was a good time. But Q had taken the car. So I went for a little walk. And it was only about a mile, so it took me less than a half hour. And I got food there and a coffee, and I drank my coffee all the way back. But uh, it, it was good because I, I was able to just go through the neighborhood and then cut through kind of like there's a BART station, which I can kind of go under and over, and then I was right there. Um, and it's a neat little downtown area that's super close walking distance. And I didn't have to get any major highways. And also, I kind of wanted to check out the neighborhood because... It's not as nice of a neighborhood as where I used to live, and I, I still haven't got a handle on how worried I should be about work, walking around at night. So during the day, it was absolutely fine. I felt no worry whatsoever. And then on the way back, it was like 9 o'clock, so it was dark, but there were still people out. And, it, and again, it seemed fine. I didn't feel nervous at all or whatever, So, um, which is good. And I, don't, I normally I don't, but a lot of people are like, oh, you're moving out of Hayward? Watch out. Watch your back. you know. So if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't think about it at all. But several people have made comments like that, so it got in my head. So I wanted, uh, I'm glad I went for a walk and, and there still might be bad areas. I don't know, but, but I felt fine walking to the movie theater in that little downtown area, which is good because that's close and I'll probably end up going there a lot. Anyway, if you haven't seen uh, anything from Lupin, I recommend checking it out. It, like I said, it's kind of comedy action, uh, and, uh, especially Castle Cagliostro. Cause even if you're not into Lupin specifically, it is a Miyazaki film. So, you know, it will be well animated and a well told story. Yes. I was just walking out of Target and on my way out, some people were coming in and I saw um, my past self from when I was probably in the neighborhood of 12 to 13 years old. Uh, it was a little white kid with kind of a stupid haircut, uh, <laughs> but, but a stupid haircut that he thought was not stupid and, uh, you know, kind of parted nicely, but a little too fluffy. Uh, and he was chubby but in a kind of a weird way, not like where he had a gut and not where he had a double chin, but he just sort of had like a soft neck and like a pudgy, everything was just inflated, like I used to be. Uh, and he had, the thing that drew, drew my attention, lest you think I'm just staring at young children, uh, he had a t-shirt, a black t-shirt from the band, uh, not Metallica, Megadeth. And it was specifically, uh, I believe it was the Rust in Peace album, uh, but it's the one that has the alien behind him and it's Area 50, uh, Area 51? See, it's been so long ago I don't remember, but they had a song, possibly, I've seen too much, Hangar 18, it was Hangar 18, ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and I had a brief period where I got into metal, um, and Megadeth was my band, you know, and I loved that song and that, uh, video because it was all about aliens, and so clearly I was into aliens and not metal, but whatever, but I had that shirt for a long time. It might have been my only Megadeth shirt. And 
I mean, I when I was wearing it, you know, when I was a kid, like, I haven't seen it since. Like, maybe at a metal show there might be an adult wearing an older one, but this is like a young kid wearing a brand new copy of the shirt that is a million years old. So that's what drew my eye. And then I'm like, yeah, and he's kind of pudgy, and he's the right age, and he has this same dumb haircut, and he had kind of, like, weird pants that had, like, I don't know if they are sweatpants or jeans or what, but they had kind of, like, tight bottoms like almost like elastic by the ankles which again is a dumb kind of pants I would have wore you know sometime between middle school and high school and he had on high top leather or pleather black like kind of puffy shoes which was also my favorite kind of shoe to wear so I really was just like oh hey buddy and he's like what no I did not talk to the child that would be wrong and weird but uh we all know it was me so um oh <laughs> I just remembered seeing me <laughs> I've changed the timeline <laughs> Going down to a job, a character gig in Gilroy, which was previously far from me in Santa Clara, and he's been more far from me now uh, that I'm in Hayward. This is down south, and this is a place we thought we would have to live if we wanted a house. Uh, and it's a nice area, as you can see, I stopped at Target, and there's mountains everywhere, but it is kind of in the middle of nowhere for the types of things we would want to be close to. Uh, nevertheless, it was a nice stop. I got about 20 minutes more of a drive out of a little an hour, 10, hour 20. So I got most of it done. Stopped here to get a Starbucks, check the toys, nothing there. But uh, it's really been nice out lately. Kind of borderline cool, you know, which is my favorite. Where it's sunny and breezy, but not at all hot. And I missed my path. I will stop. I'm going to step over this. Hopefully there's no poison ivy. Okay. Hey, so I'm done with the job. I just stopped at Walgreens uh, to use their restroom and see if they had the Human Torch exclusive figure, uh, which they should have now. Uh, they didn't, but the job was good. I ended up staying a little bit over and I also got some tips, which is always unexpected, but nice. So I made a little bit more money than I thought I'd be making today, which is good considering I had such a trek down here that was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. So all worked out. Everybody there was very nice. Uh, I did a lot of adults. I did a lot of children. I did a lot of children multiple times, which happens sometimes. Uh, and what was good though, is there was uh, a lot of kids that wanted to be, like have a unicorn horn out of their head, not even be a unicorn. I did draw one girl as a unicorn and uh, she was farting a rainbow and I thought that was great. Um, I did a couple others similar, like I wanna be an elf that has a, a ice cream bazooka and I have wings and a horn on my head. I'm like, great. A lot of weird creative stuff. I support it. There was a few make me a mermaid and that kind of stuff, which is fine too. But I always like when people ask for out of the box stuff, especially kids. So good time go goes. And now I, uh, I still probably have an hour uh, trip home and I'm going to make a few stops along the way. Uh, be, see if I can find some toys. And also maybe I'll get a, a coffee because I, you know, more coffee. Why not? Boats, but I will not be taking a boat. Q and I are here at Chabot Park, which is uh, near-ish to us. We just had some interesting food at their little cafe. Interesting meaning expensive and good-ish? I don't know, I probably wouldn't. I had a weird breakfast burrito, but we're gonna go hiking, walking at a place like this. Well, it's mostly a circular trail around the lake. There are other hiking trails, but there's these nice little pull-offs where you can get a little closer to the lake and there's some nice shade and stuff. There's even a bench right down by the water. People are fishing and paddle boating and stuff. We're just walking around though. We're just, we're using our little foot peds. We're, we're ped pedals. We're pedaling. We're pedestrians. Pedalistrians. Feet. They have these black ducks with white bills that I haven't really seen before. He, he, I think he thinks I've bred because he started coming right over here as soon as I walked over. Can you see him? Where is he? There he is. I don't know what, what kind of duck. He's a, a billiard. He plays pool. He's in the water pool. I don't know what's going on with my words today. But anyway, Black Duck, White Bill. Hello, Mr. Sir. Or Madam. I don't know how to tell. I am recently awake, so I'm still kind of flattily. Uh, I've been having a lot of peanut butter sandwiches for breakfast today, but I decided to... Today? No, I've been having a lot of peanut butter sandwiches. Not today. In my life in the last couple weeks, but today I decided to vary it up, mix it, match it, and have some goober and grape, which uh, I used to eat when I was very young. And then again in high school, I used to get these high school, college age, 
I would get them at a food store when we were out in the middle of the night wanting snacks and whatever, and I would basically eat a whole jar of it as a snack. Uh, looking at it now, it's not as big as a normal peanut butter jar, so I don't feel as bad. Uh, and I suppose I should be like, that's crazy that I did that, but I could, I could do it now, still, if I had to. Anyway, I'm gonna make a sandwich out of it and probably use a third of the jar anyway, so. Cooper and great! <laughs> oh good, you're over there now. I... Did you hop on that? I don't... What are you doing? What did... <laughs> don't ask me, I'm asking you! Oh, brother. And that's it for this edition of the Gazbot Report. Now, I am going to be taking a break from these videos, not YouTube in general, but these specific videos. Uh, these are intended, or were intended, or will be still continue to be intended to be a little bit separate from my toy reviews, or my show reviews, or progress on my comic, The Hari, for things like that. And um, I had a lot of stuff going on that it was worth showing, and I moved in the new house, but I have a lot of things still going on, and I really need to concentrate on my comics. So, uh, there will still be videos coming out. What you're probably going to see is me catching up on old videos uh, of other genres, and uh, I'm going to be doing a horror update report, which I haven't done in a while, to explain to everyone where that's at and where we're going with that and everything. Uh, but for now, I'm ending this video. You could think of it as like the end of a season. You know, some people do podcasts or videos or whatever, and then stop for a while. Um, I guess that's what I'm doing, although I might throw one up now and then. I'm just sort of setting an expectation. If you don't see one of these for a while, it's not because like something went wrong or I've given up on doing them forever, but the Gazbot Report vlogs uh, I'm taking a break from. Again, there'll still be stuff on this channel. I'll still be living my life and making the arts. I have here Man-Thing minus an arm. Well, maybe one day, buddy. One day. Why don't you grow it? Don't you regenerate? Oh, I know fear! I'm burning! As you see, all... Any that know fear burn at the touch of man thing, in case you didn't know. Anyway, this is the kind of stuff you're going to miss out on, but not really because I'll be doing other videos. I've talked too much. I've said too little. Anyway, bye for now. Goo, 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 goo. Goo. Uh, Scott!